Alrighty, so today's the day. Uh, I'm heading over to the garage right now. I got a couple last things that I need to take care of on the M52 head. And then we're going to be taking it over to the machine shop. I really should have done this a lot sooner, but I've had a lot of anxiety surrounding the idea that the head could potentially be cracked. I've just been trying to figure out in my head what I would end up doing if the head were to be cracked. I guess it wouldn't be like super difficult to have to source a new head, but that's probably at least like 300 extra dollars that I'm going to have to spend. Fingers crossed that we don't have a cracked head. So off camera, I've already gotten out all the valves, all the valve springs out of the head. I think all there's left is a couple washers here and there that I still need to get out. Uh, I figure once I go to put everything back in, it's pretty much the same process as taking it out. So I'll just show you guys the entire process once we go put everything back in. But yeah, like I said, all I need to do is take out some more washers in here and then take off a couple little miscellaneous things like the block off plate. And then I believe there's a couple things, yeah, over on the side of the head that I want to take off just to make sure that they don't get in the way during the machining process. Alrighty, I got the rest of these little washers out, got all the little miscellaneous bits off the head and give it a little bit of a clean inside. Now it's time to go load this thing in the run. You know, I really should have brought the truck along today to put this in, but fortunately the truck's just full of stuff. I wasn't able to get everything out so I could take the head with me. And as you can see, I'm being extra, extra cautious having this head in the back of the car. So I got cardboard and a plastic bag just because I really don't want to mess up the minty interior on this thing. It's just, it's just too nice. By the way, if you didn't see the video of me uh, showing off this car, uh, which you probably didn't because the video did absolutely terrible. This is my uh, new daily driver. It's a Toyota Rom uh, straight from Japan, right hand drive. And the thing is absolutely minty. Like, look at this thing. Interior is so nice. And it's got sliding doors. It's the perfect little, it's the perfect little daily driver. I love this thing. And on top of it being really clean, it's got really low kilometers. Overall, just a cool little car. Thought I'd show it to you guys again, because like I said, not many of you saw it before. Now, depending on how busy they are today over the machine shop, I was honestly thinking about asking if I could put, 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 I was thinking about asking if I could potentially film in there and kind of like bring you guys along and see what goes on inside a machine shop because I've never been to a machine shop. This is the first thing I've ever had to take to a machine shop. So I don't know. I thought it'd be interesting. Alrighty. I made it over to Olympia Engine Builders. Let's go run inside and see what we can get going. So unfortunately, they're a bit busy at the machine shop right now, so they're not going to be able to get anything done until tomorrow. So I'm not going to be able to film in there. But there was a bit of a mishap when I went to go drop the head off. So when one of the workers came out to go grab the head out of the car, he lifted it up out of the back and dropped it right here. He just dropped it. And I just got home and I realized he cracked one of the trim pieces in the back. Like, at first I wasn't pressed about it. But now I've got a crack on one of my trim pieces. And like on any other car, I wouldn't really mind. But this car specifically, <clears throat> like I've been trying so hard to keep this thing nice. And like, if I was to do that, like, yeah, I'd be pissed. But like, I'd be able to get over it because like I did it and it's just like, whatever. But the fact that someone else did it, like I'm a little sad about that. So I don't know. I'm probably going to have to have a little, little talk with them, unfortunately. So, uh... I just had a very interesting interaction with the machine shop. Um, where do I even start? I don't know if I was in the wrong in this situation. I'm really not the confrontational type. But like I said, due to the nature of what happened and the car that it's in, I just felt that I wanted to bring it to the shop's attention, not only because of the damage to my car, but also the... But there was also a piece of plastic that I had noticed had come off of the head after it was dropped. Here's how it went down, essentially. So I showed up to the shop, and I talked to the owner, and I was like, hey... Like, at the time when it happened, I didn't think anything of it. It was just a harmless mistake. No harm, no foul. But when I got back to the shop and I went to go clear everything out the back of the car, I noticed that the trim piece had been cracked, like I showed you guys before. And then I also found the little plastic pieces, which actually I have right here. This isn't all of it, but there are these little pieces 
that broke off of the head. I wasn't sure what they were. I was hoping to be able to try and match it up to some part on the head to see what had been damaged potentially, just so he was aware that there would have been damaged damage due to his person dropping the head. And I'm not mad at the dude that dropped my head. Like, you know, accidents happen. But like I said, I just wanted to bring all this to the owner's attention just so there was nothing weird in the future if there was some issue to arise from anything that had happened during the drop. But anyways, I went to go show him the stuff and he immediately started getting very defensive and started coming at me very aggressively. Not like in a physical sense, like he was going to try and hurt me, but he just immediately got defensive, started going on about Oh, well, should I contact L and I and have them come after you? Because my guy cut his finger open uh, carrying your head. And, like, I don't understand the thought process there. Maybe I'm missing something. But I was just like, hey, like, I'm, I'm trying to come in here as kind as possible. Like, I'm not being rude in any, any sense of the word, you know? And, like I say, he just keeps being defensive, yada, yada, yada. And he's like, so are you just going to take your head out of here and take it to another machine shop or do you want us to do it? And I was like, based on how this interaction is going, I would, I would just rather take my head and I'll just go to another machine shop. Like it's no biggie. Like we can just end it here. It's fine. And so I retrieve my head and as I'm on my way out, he starts going on about, and if you even think about leaving a bad review for us uh, online, uh, I'm going to come at you. And then I kind of turn around and he says it again. He's like, I'm, I'm going to blast you on the internet. I was like, did you just say that you were going to come at, like, at me? Like, are you trying to, like, threaten me in any way? And he said, no. But if you leave any bad review, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blast you on the internet. And I'm going to put your name out there, yada, yada, all this stuff. And I was just like, this interaction, I didn't say this, but I could just tell that the interaction was not going anywhere positive. So I was just like, you know, I'm just going to leave. It's fine. Whatever. I'll just leave. It's cool. So I'm, I go out to my car, whatever, put, getting everything back in the car. I have my sweatshirt down in the back to make sure that nothing gets greasy back there, of course. And then he comes back out with the dude that dropped my head and he was going on about, Hey, why don't you show my guy the damage? Because he's trying to be a, be a nice guy and trying, trying to be nice. And I was like, I really just didn't want to keep the interaction going, but the dude came out and like, he was very apologetic. And like I said, I don't blame the guy who dropped my head like you know accidents happen but like i said i just wanted everything to be known before things potentially become more complicated in the future like i said if there were any actual damage that did arise from that drop and i showed it the thing showed him the damage and the dude was apologetic and i was just like it's fine whatever like i'm just gonna take my head somewhere else like we can just be done with this it's over whatever. I'm just going to take my shit and leave. And that kind of ended that. Like I said, I'm not the confrontational type. And that's the first time I've ever had to do something like that. Like if I'm in a restaurant, even and someone like fucks up my food or whatever, like I'm not even going to fucking mention it because it's usually not worth my time, but just like the nature of what we're doing and the items that are at stake. And I just felt that informa information needed to be known. But I don't know. Maybe I'm in the wrong of the situation. I'm not sure. But all in all, that was a very bad interaction. And I hated it. I hated every bit of it. Well, I guess that leaves us where we started this video. I had other things that I wanted to do in this video. Like I wanted to... I had plans to heat wrap the headers. And then potentially put some heat shielding in the engine bay. But... After all that, I don't know. It would just feel weird putting in this video. Now, I don't really want this video to be misconstrued as me putting all this information out there in an effort to, like, ruin their business or anything like that. I'm sure that shop does good work. I'm sure I just caught them on a bad day. Overall, the situation just sucks. I was contemplating whether or not I would actually want to upload this video in the next couple days. Um, I probably will, just for the simple fact that my channel is here to document my journey working on cars.
pursuing cars. And, you know, it's just part of it. Not everything goes right all the time. And that's okay. You just gotta keep trucking. But anyways, I think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Like I said, there were other things I wanted to do. But, I don't know. Just doesn't feel right for this video. But, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And, I'll see you in the next one.